read that in the book of uh, Exodus. Uh, 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 Exodus. Get a question. What? She said, God bless you and thank you for the word this morning. Yes, ma'am. All praise. Twenty and eight. Exodus twenty and eight. Read what the Bible says. We got answers to every question. We don't leave you saying wait till next Sunday and we'll bring it back to you next Sunday. We give it to you right now. Start at, uh, let's see here, brother. Read that, Exodus 8 and 9. And it's going to tell you. Exodus chapter 20, verse 8 and 9. Read what the Bible says. Remember the seventh day. Do what? Remember the seventh day. The Bible says remember the seventh day. To keep it holy. To do what? To keep it holy. What does holy mean, sister? Honoring God on his honor. Holy means set apart. Yeah. Read. Six days shall thy labor. How many days? Six days shall thy labor. How many days did it take God to create the earth? Seven. No, we good. We can't accept that. Read what? Read that again, cause she say seven. Read. Exodus chapter twenty, verse nine. Six days. Show thy labor. How many days? Six days. Read on. And do all thy work. Six days shall I do what? He did. I'll read that again. Start on. Read eight and nine. Exodus chapter twenty, verse eight and nine. Read, brother. Remember the seventh day. Remember the seventh day. The day is the seventh day. He said to keep it holy. Read. To keep it holy. To do what? To keep it holy. No, to disrespect it like they doing now. To keep it holy. Read. Six days. How many days? Six days. Read. Thou shalt thy labor and do all thy work. Six days shall thy labor and do all thy work. For what, brother? But but the seventh day. What day? But the seventh day. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy Yahweh. Is the seventh of the Lord thy Yahweh. And what shall happen in them days, brother? And it thou shalt not do any work. Thou shalt not do what? Do not do any work. Thou shalt not do any work. No, thou know thy son. Uh-huh. Thy, no, thy daughter. Read. Thy manservant. Uh-huh. No, thy maidservant. Read. No, thy cattle. Read, brother. No, thy stranger. Uh-huh. That is within thy gate. Read what the Bible says. Six days. How many days? Or in six days. He's saying it again. Six days. The Lord made heaven and earth. And, and made heaven and earth. And what happened on the Sabbath day? And the sea, all and the sea and all that in them is and rested the seventh day. Wherefore, wherefore the Lord blessed the seventh day, and how and how be it? The Lord blessed the seventh day and hallowed it. See, we got to go by what the Bible say, not what our preachers say. That's what's wrong with the Christianity in the church today. They don't care about what God's word say, but they sure care about what they learn preachers say. And God say in the book of Acts chapter 7 and 48 that he ain't in them churches no way that's made with man's hands. Then when you go to Corinthians chapter 5 and 1, he tell you the same thing. God ain't in them churches. You better come out that church, sister. You better come out that church. I'm going to ask my pastor. That's why they're still on. Because they always want to go and get a lie from the same people that's telling them lies. That's right. One lie confounded on another lie. If he tell one lie, he going to turn around and he going to tell you another lie. That's right. That's what happens. They come out on the street. Don't come out on the street teaching that junk. Come out on the street teaching what the Bible says. That's what's wrong with people now. They learn all that junk, and then they want to bring it out here on the street. Look at all them places. Look at all them churches over there on the west side and everything. That's right. But look at the condition of our people over there on the west side. Do they have anything? No. When you ride through the west side, the whole west side smells like human feces. That's right. It stinks over there. Don't nobody want to do what God said. They want to obey that child lying preacher that's going to go to hell. That's what the Bible says. Read on, brother. Come out here talking about it. I'm going to ask my pastor. Better come out here and get the truth.
You gotta get it right. Them preachers don't tell you nothing in them churches. You go in the church dumb and you come out dumb, you go back dumb, you come out dumb. You don't learn nothing in them churches because we will sell out. Tell it. Read. Paul verse chapter 28 verse 9. Read what the Bible says. He that turneth away his ear. The Bible says, He that turneth away his ear. From him. From hearing the law. From hearing what? Hearing the law. From hearing the law. Even his prayer shall be abomination. Even his prayer shall be an abomination unto God. If you turn your back on these law statutes and commandments, right. and you pray to God and think he's going to hear you, the Bible says even your prayer is an abomination. An abomination is things that God hates. They are detestable things to the Most High God. Come out of them churches and start gathering with your brothers and sisters, the Israelites, and get this through. That's right. Because that's the only thing going to make you free. Give me the book of John, chapter 7 and verse 38. Because every scripture that we read, this is what Yahweh Shah, who you ignorantly call Jesus, this is what he said. If you believe the Bible, this is what the Bible is saying right here. Read that, brother. John chapter 7 verse 38. Read what it says. John chapter 7 and 38. Read what it says. He that believeth on me. The Yahweh shall who you ignorantly call Jesus. He say that he that believeth on me. As the scripture hath said. As the scripture hath said. Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. That's right. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Tell it. That's what the Bible says. Give me 1 John 3 and 22. Let's see what makes God happy. Let's see what is pleasing to the Most High God. Let's see if that's the Bible is the truth or has man been telling a lie. Let's see if the Bible is true or your preacher been telling you a lie. Read it, my brother. 1 John chapter 3, verse 23. 22. 22. Read. And what so... And whatsoever we ask. And whatsoever we ask. We receive of him. We receive of him. Why do we receive it, brother? Because we keep his commandments. Because we do what? Keep his commandments. Because we keep his commandments. And do those things that are pleasing in his sight. And do those things that are pleasing in his sight. That's why they tell you, brother, the sister, that the commandments are done away with. Because they want you to go to hell. Because that's the only place that they're going to be able to go. Is the hell. That's why they lie to you. But we come out here to break it down. We come out here to bring you scripture that you ain't never heard before. That's right. Give me 1 John 2 and 4, brother. Let's see what that says. 1 John chapter 2, verse 4. Read. He that saith, I know him. Everybody hollering like they know God. Read what the Bible says. And he that saith, I know him, and keep it not his commandments. If you say you know God and you don't keep his commandments, what did the Bible say? He is a liar. He is what? He is a liar. The Bible says you are a liar and what, brother? And the truth is not in him. And the truth is not in you. If you say you love, you know God, and you don't keep the commandment, the Bible say you are a liar, That's and right. the truth is not in you. I bet you ain't heard them scriptures before. I bet you ain't heard that in the church before. Give me 1 John 3 and 4. Let's see what that say. Let's see what that sin is. Do you know what sin is? Read. 1 John chapter 3 verse 4. Read. Whosoever commits sin. Whosoever committed sin. Transgresses also the law. Transgresses also the law. Why, brother? For sin is the transgression of the law. Because sin is the transgression of the law. Everybody hollering about they love God. How do you love God? Can you give God a flower? Can you give God a hot dog? Nope. Let's show them what the, how to love God in the book of 1 John 5 and 3. Because the church been telling you a lot about what love is. We're going to show you what love is today. Read, brother. 1 John chapter 5, verse 3. Read what the Bible says about love. For this is the love of Yahweh. The Bible says this is the love of Yahweh. That we keep his commandments. That we do what? That we keep his commandments. That we keep... His commandments. If you love God, you say, this is the love of God, that we keep His commandments. Read. And 
and his commandments are not grievous. And his commandments are not hard. They tell you it's hard. Grandmama tell you it's hard. That's right. The preacher tell you it's hard. And now, you're not going to even try to keep them because what? The people that you love, grandmama, and the preacher say you can't. But God say you can't. That's right. That's what the Bible say. They ain't talking about all that junk they be trying to tell you in the church. Them lying churches. Them lying preachers. That's right. Them lying Sunday school teachers. They ain't nothing but a bunch of liars in the church. They don't believe nothing. That's why I say. If they believe God and love Him, why they going to church on Sunday? That's the day of Nimrod. That's right. A wicked king. They don't even know their history. They dealing with somebody else's history because they taught you the wrong history. They stole this Bible and taught you lies. What makes you think they gonna tell you the truth when they kill and hate you? You better get it right. God is on his way back. 